subscribe to our channel. So we had the opportunity to tour the Holy Lands for eight days, and we hope you guys enjoy these videos on our time in Israel. This was the most unique travel experience Kendrick and I have ever had, and we're so excited to share our tour with you guys. And so this is day one out of eight in Israel. There was 41 of us traveling in this tour group. It was really neat to experience this trip with family. This was Kendrick's mom's extended side of the family. We woke up the first morning at the David Citadel Hotel and had a gourmet breakfast. We traveled on the bus to go see the Temple Mount and you will notice the Dome of the Rock was put up by the Muslims to cover over the Holy of Holies, which is where the high priest only went into once a year. The Temple Mount is currently under Muslim control. They are pretty picky about um, all the ladies wearing long sleeves and long skirts. On this day, we were also hoping to do a family picture later, and so um, we were kind of coordinating our colors for the family picture, and so I specifically had brought along a certain dress to wear um, for that, and it was a little too short. So I ended up having to put on this green and yellow skirt, John Deere colors, and I also had to wear my hoodie that I had brought along and so it was very warm and <laughs> I felt a little claustrophobic um anyway but it was such a unique experience um our guide is a Christian and so he would read scripture or tell us stories from the bible that happened here we got to see the walk around on the temple mount we got to see the pools of Bethesda we got to see the Catholic Church that is put up in honor of um, the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus. Um, I guess this is where they think that she was born. The actual locations of biblical events are extremely important to the Catholics, so there were a lot of um, Catholic churches that we got to go to and see because certain things had happened at that spot. There were different groups and religions taking turns um, singing in the church, and so we got to take our turn doing that too. We didn't feel like we did the acoustics in this church justice, but we did mean what we sang. Um, so right outside of this church are the Pools of Bethesda. The Pools of Bethesda are ancient healing pools in Jerusalem near the temple. Soon after seeing the Pools of Bethesda, we walked a little bit further and we got to see where they think was possibly Pontius Pilate's house or at least where he ruled. Um, and he often would make sure he was close to the temple or in the area, especially over the Passover and bigger events so that if riots happened when there was more activity he could be there to take care of it this is where jesus was sentenced to death matthew 27 1 and 2 when daybreak came all of the chief priests and the elders of the people plotted against jesus to put him to death after tying him up they led him away and handed him over to pilate the governor here our guide was showing us a map of the city during jesus time later we got to see a much bigger and more detailed map Next, we got to walk down the road where Jesus carried the cross. There was markets on both sides most of the way through, and it was interesting to see some of the things they had to offer. Matthew 27, 27, Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the governor's residence and gathered the whole company around him. They stripped him and dressed him in a scarlet robe. They twisted together a crown of thorns, put it on his head, and placed a staff in his right hand. And they knelt down before him and mocked him, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they spat on him, took the staff, and kept hitting him on the head. After they had mocked him, they stripped him of the robe, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to crucify him. As they were going out, they found a Cyrenian man named Simon. They forced him to carry Jesus' cross. It was so special and meaningful to be able to walk the walk that Christ took with his cross, carrying his cross to the place where he was 
crucified for our sins so that we could have eternal life and have a relationship with him and be saved. The suffering that he went through was so intense and it was a good reminder of what he has done for us. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For me personally, this means that God loves me so much that I can't even understand it. Jesus came down to earth to be the perfect sacrifice for my sins. God sent him. I want to live every day out of the gratitude of that love and show that love to other people. The Western Wall, also known as the Wailing Wall, is the most religious site in the world for the Jewish people. Located in the old city of Jerusalem, it is the last remaining outer wall of the ancient Jewish temple and an incredibly important site of modern Israeli history. The guys were required to wear Jewish yarmulkes on their heads on the guy's side. We headed for lunch to try some authentic Israeli food, which is so good. This is where Christ rode the donkey into Jerusalem. Matthew 21, 7. They brought the donkey and its foal. Then they laid their clothes on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their clothes on the road. Others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them on the road. Then the crowds who went ahead of him and those who followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in an uproar, saying, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he told the disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. Taking along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. He said to them, I am deeply grieved to the point of death. Remain here and stay awake with me. Going a little farther, he fell face down and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping, and he asked Peter, So couldn't you stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray so that you won't enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came again and found them sleeping because they could not keep their eyes open. After leaving them, he went away again and prayed a third time, saying the same thing once more. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? See, the time is near. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let's go. See, my betrayer is near. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, suddenly arrived. A large mob with swords and clubs was with him from the chief priests and elders of the people. His betrayer had given them a sign, the one I kiss, he's the one, arrest him. So immediately he went up to Jesus and he said, greetings rabbi, and kissed him. Friend, Jesus asked him, why have you come? Then they came up, took hold of Jesus and arrested him. At that moment, one of those with Jesus reached out his hand and drew his sword. He struck the high priest's servant and cut off his ear. Then Jesus told him, Put your sword back in its place, because all who take up the sword will perish by the sword. Gethsemane means to press olives, and it makes sense since the Garden of Gethsemane was a garden of olive trees, and these olive trees are very, very old. Some may have been from Jesus' time, we aren't sure. Um, also, the church that we got to go in, the Catholic Church, is over top of where they believe Jesus sweat drops of blood.
soon before he was arrested and taken away to die on the cross. Here we are headed to Hezekiah's tunnel, which was a really unique experience walking through that tunnel that they chiseled out long, long ago. The Gihon Spring is the only spring in Jerusalem. It means gushing, it surges, and the sound can be easily heard. It is estimated that the Gihon could have supported a population of about 2,500. The cave is a natural one, but it has been widened. Solomon was anointed at the Gihon Spring while his brother Adonijah was attempting to take the throne. This tunnel, the he Hezekiah's Tunnel, is a 1,750 foot tunnel carved through the reign of Hezekiah to bring water from one side of the city to the other. Had it followed a straight line, the length would have been 1,070 feet, or 40% shorter. 2 Kings 2020, as for the other events of Hezekiah's reign, all his achievements and how he made the pool and the tunnel by which he brought water into the city, 2 Chronicles 32:30. it was Hezekiah who blocked the upper outlet of the Gihon Spring and channeled the water down to the west side of the city of David. And at the end of Hezekiah's tunnel is the Pool of Siloam, which you will see later.
John 9, 1. As he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the work of God might be displayed in his life. Yeah. As long as it is day, we must do the work of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Having said this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, he told him, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and washed and came home seeing. This wrapped up our first day. We got to see so many cool things. It is the coolest thing to be able to see the places where events of the Bible took place and like where Jesus was and like you read about it your whole life. You've heard all the stories, but actually seeing and understanding the culture a little bit better is just such a blessing and such a cool experience. Anyway, so then we just headed back to the hotel. Everyone was really tired. Well, I was tired. <laughs> I shouldn't speak for everyone, but we had a full day walking around and seeing things. And so we ate supper, really amazing supper. Um, so we ate our suppers at the hotel. I think that night I took a bath and then I went to bed. I some of them might have stayed up and played some games. I'm not sure. My husband doesn't need as much sleep as I do. So he he stayed up and played games with his cousins and stuff, I think. But I was shot and I fell asleep. So it was an incredible day. And we do plan to keep doing a video per day that we... Um, so we were in Israel for, well, 10 days with the travel days, but 8 days of touring Israel. Video 2 should come out soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more. It definitely helps us out and we really appreciate it.